The composite design pattern is a structural pattern that enables the client to process simple and composite objects uniformly without having to type check to handle the differences between them. Let's have a closer look at the problem that the design pattern is trying to solve. So we have an application that needs to manipulate a hierarchical collection of simple and composite objects. Processing of the two types is handled differently, but having to query the type of each object is undesirable. So an example, we could have a user interface menu and within a menu we can have programs and other menus, so called submenus. We want to open the whole menu structure. Opening a menu should just open all its submenus while opening a program should execute it. For example, a menu could look like this. We have a main menu in which we have a sub-menu office, sub-menu games, sub-menu favorites and security menu. Within the main menu we already have also programs R and Chrome. And then in the sub-menus we have Word and PowerPoint in office, blackjack, favorite games uh, in the games menu and in the favorites games menu again there's blackjack only because it's the only game and then we have another favorites menu where we have the program Adam inside and the security menu Casper Guy. So we want to open this whole tree structure starting from the main menu. We want to do that without having to type check. Obviously handling menus and programs is different. If we have a menu object we have to look through all its contents and also open all its containers. So recursively look through a menu if it contains other menus and then if it contains other menus inside of that menu. Here is what this could look like in a traditional approach which we want to avoid. So we have a class program and the class menu. In the class program we have a field name and then of course we just have the open method and that just prints out the name and puts it into the string builder. And then the menu, we also have a name and an array list of included menu listings. And then uh, we have just management methods to add and remove uh, menu listings from the composite menu type here. And then here in the open method we just also print the name into the string builder and then we look through the list of included menu listing items and then here's the crucial part we have to type check if the uh, the, the objects in our list is a menu and if it is we apply again the open method from the menu so we downcast that or otherwise we downcast to the program and simply use the program open method. Okay, so that's the bad approach with the type checking. So let's have a look at the solution the composite design pattern offers. The solution is to work with menu and the program object through a common interface and let dynamic binding do the job on handling the difference. So our common action is going to be the opening method which is simply to print the name of the object in the tree structure. If it is a menu we just loop through the menu listings recursively and also it will print its name. Here is the UML diagram of the design pattern. So we're going to define a common interface, the menu listing, which is going to have an open method then the program class is just going to have a name, the type string, and it's going to implement that open method. And on the other hand side, we have the composite object, the menu class. It has a name as well of type string, and it has an array list of included menu listings, which can be, of course, uh, programs or menus themselves. And then we have, of course, the opening method, uh, open method implemented and then we have an add menu listing method. So here's the solution in code. We have the menu listing interface, then we have the simple type 
program which implements the menu listing string name and then implements the open function open method simply adds the name of the program to a string builder then we have the composite type menu and again string name array list of include menu listings simply uh, add and remove as management methods to add simple times to composite type and then in the opening method we also just add the name of the menu to the string builder and then we loop through the included menu listing objects we upcast to the menu listing and then at runtime dynamic binding will choose the right open method to apply whether it is a menu or program object finally the demo it's the exact same menu uh, as i showed on the diagram before so i constructed uh, the different programs and menus added it to the main menu and let's see what our tree structure looks like when we call the open method on the main menu and boom seems to work so inside of the main menu we have the office menu the games menu the favorites menu and the security menu we also have simple programs chrome and r so they don't recursively look through um, further menus inside of office we have word and powerpoint inside of games we have blackjack and another menu favorite games which again contains blackjack and then inside of favorites and security we have adam and casper sky <laughs>